A merged cell in a spill range. That's not supposed to be possible in Excel, but it is if you know the secret hack, which I'm going to show you. Here is a Premier League football table built with a single named formula using the advanced formula environment. It's called overall table and I've referenced it in A1. The result spills across and down all the way to K23. Yes, this is a single formula, including the title and the gap underneath, which might surprise some of you, or many of you. At the moment, you'll notice the title of the table, which I've included programmatically, is stuck in A1. Clearly, this column is too narrow to display the whole text, but in any case, I need it to be in the centre above the table. This surely calls for a merged cell, which I know is a rather contentious subject in the Excel community. <laughs> Anyway, what I'll do is select A1 to K1 and click Merge and Center. Ah, that returns a spill error, so the whole thing breaks. I'll unmerge that. And instead, how about I try Center Across Selection in the Format Cells window? Well, that doesn't cause an error, but it still doesn't want to spread the text across multiple cells. So what do we do? The secret is to pre-create the title elsewhere as a merge cell. That's what I've already done. Select it and then go to Format Painter in the ribbon to copy the formatting. Click A1 to paste it there and look what happens. The title display is just how I want it, with the formula successfully spilling from the merge cell. And you know what? It's even possible to have a merge cell that is wider than the spill range. or a merge cell that's longer than the entire spill range. How bizarre. Even though I'm certain this is a bug, it's actually a rather useful bug for certain things, as I showed. I do wonder how long we'll be able to get away with it though, so take advantage of it whilst you can.